But today we're going to be showing you how to use a tool called Code Connection. And you can find Code Connection in the Windows 10 store just by searching for Code Connection. And that is uh, a separate tool that lets you use the full Minecraft Windows 10 version and uh, make code. So it's going to be a little bit different from the demos you've seen where we use Minecraft Education Edition because we're going to be using the full Minecraft version. All right, so I've installed Code Connection and I've launched it and it looks like this. I'm going to go and hide this. And also I've started Minecraft. So I've got Minecraft here. I'm going to minimize Minecraft here. So I've got Minecraft here and I've got my Code Connection. And as you can see, it says, uh, enter the following command in Minecraft Education Edition. Uh, one word of caution here, this is not a fully supported support, uh, scenario. So uh, this tool was meant for you to be used with Minecraft Education Edition. So it might break in the future, but it seems to work fine right now. All right, so I'm gonna uh, start a world. I'm gonna just create, uh, open one of my worlds in Minecraft. I'm running, I guess, the latest version that Windows updated on my machine. But this is full Minecraft. on Windows 10. And that's the version you get from the store. So it's, uh, I think there's various version, but this is, this is the Windows 10 version of Minecraft. Opening up my little world here. Dig it in, all right. And uh, coming back to, coming back to uh, this, uh, you can see that enter the following command in Minecraft. So I need to, and there's a copy icon here and click that. And I can um, zoom my game, go into chat and paste. So control V. And now I can just run this command. And you can see in the chat that it says uh, connection established to server. And in fact, my agent is here. So this is really cool. And if I go back to the code connection, you see that there's a few options, um, including make code. So I'm gonna click that. And what you can see is that when you're doing this mode, you know, it went, it went full screen on me, hold on. Resize this. When using the code connection, you don't have this nice uh, integration. It's more. Go back to make code here. Yeah, it kind of on a regular screen, it'll take half of your screen, which is typically what you want. But I'm on a bigger screen here. All right. So I've got this window with make code and I've got this window with Minecraft. And they're talking to each other. They're connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up um, so that I can work in both. I like to kind of have them a little bit overlapping uh, so that I can easily switch between them. I'm going to move Minecraft here. There we go. And you can see I they overlap, so I can click out. Whoops. That was a mistake. More mistakes. Resize this. Go. Yeah, so the, the downside of this version is that you kind of had to do a bit more window management. Um, but we're gonna, you know, we're gonna try to learn that. All right. Okay. And my two windows and I can click here, do Minecraft, click back here, then do coding. All right, so let's take a look at what you can do here. I'm gonna go and hide this a bit. You don't have to see that. Um, so once you have it set up, it's pretty much the same as when we were doing demos in Minecraft Education Edition. We've got the editor here, We've got the green button here. I've got a green button here. Um, 
So I can, for example, do, I'm gonna get rid of that, but do a on player walk. And when I walk, I'm gonna place a typical flower. I'm gonna do a dandelion. Dandelion and chunk. Okay. And when you hit run, but you see it doesn't switch, but it shows you that uh, it is running. So what you have to do is then go and click on the Minecraft view. Uh, let me just set the time to the day. All right, so I'm in the Minecraft view and if I walk, I'm placing flowers. So I am actually running my Minecraft code, my make code uh, code in full Minecraft. And this has to be in creative and you know you need to get make sure the world is set up but i can use that with this tool called code connection again this is not a fully supported scenario but uh, it works pretty well once you figure out how to manage your windows and you can really decide you know how much you want the overlap to be so i can do like maybe half half screen uh, so again, this is this is the code connection app, which I downloaded from the store, and this is full Minecraft. Let's see, Let's see if I can resize this one. Lost it. Yeah, we got full Minecraft here, and we got this code connection app, and I've laid them out so that they overlap, and I can basically swap between them. If you want to swap out of Minecraft, my favorite way is to do Alt Tab, and I'll go back to the previous app, which is going to be Make Code. Um, yeah, so that is that's really the goal of today is to show how you could use your um, your Minecraft Full Edition to try out uh, Make Code, and basically you can do everything that we were doing, but you can do it uh, now in the code connection so for example you can follow a tutorial here and uh you know kind of do our thing we were doing in the old edition but do it now here's the important thing you need to hit run right if you leave the the, the window it's not running and that's something you're going to forget a lot but uh you need to click play then go to Minecraft. And then you can do, I think it's jump here. Ooh. Then we're jumping. Woo! Ah. And I can go back and keep doing my code and so forth. So to recap, um, this video was showing how to use code connection. Code connection, you'll find it in the Windows 10 store. And it is a tool that lets you code Minecraft, you could make code, and you can do that from the full Minecraft. The tricky part, and it's a bit harder, um, it's not as slick as the Minecraft Education Edition, is that you have to kind of manage your windows. Also, make sure you run your app before going into Minecraft. It's also more powerful because you kind of size things. Um, but yeah, so that's. Um, and there's a question whether this only works with the paid version uh, uh, in the chat I unfortunately don't know about that I didn't try I didn't try the the trial version of Minecraft so I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to answer that uh, but this will work with the Windows 10 version and again this is <coughs> this is more of an experimental thing it is not completely supported so it it might have glitches and also the experience is a bit less less integrated than the than with the the Minecraft education edition where it's uh, it's fully integrated into the ID this is how you can do coding uh, if you have a full version of Minecraft you can use that again get the code connection launch Minecraft and I will reshow how this is done as a recap uh question is whether this is going to work with the version the beta version of make code 
Um, you don't have, you cannot reach the beta version of make code in this, um, in this editor. So we, we don't allow you to switch to the beta. So you're basically running the same version as in the Minecraft Education Edition version, if that makes sense. All right. If you're trying to uh, use make code and um, you don't have Minecraft Education Edition, you can try this out. This is uh, one way to do it. But again, uh, kind of a beta thing. It may change or it may stop working because this tool is really meant for Minecraft Education Edition. Uh, and then uh, the question is whether this will run with beta. Yeah, so as soon as, um, as, soon as Minecraft, we, we update Minecraft, um, the code connection will also have the update. So that's not, that's not a problem. All right, yeah, keep. Keep the questions coming for sure. We'll, we'll take a look at that. This video was showing you um, how to do it in Windows 10. And again, if you're uh, let me see if I save and quit. I don't know if I'm still connected. Yeah, I'm connected. See, it tells me it's going to tell you the good connection is going to tell you you're connected. But just to show how it works from the start, when you launch the code connection, um, you'll see this dialog. And you want to go and copy this. Go in the chat. Paste, control V, and run. Now you can see that it is connected and the code connection will reflect that. You can actually use various different tools, including make code. Make code will rescale this to half of the screen, which I have a big screen here is a bit big. So we're gonna rescale that. You can really scale it to whatever you want. Really like that. And then you can do all your coding as usual using um, using make code. Don't forget to hit the run button. And it will run your code. Cool. Well, that's all for today. This today was just a way to show you how to use this tool code connection. We won't be using that in our in our stream. We'll just use the integrated version of the uh, Minecraft edition, Minecraft Education edition. But this is something good to know if you don't have access to that. You can also use that. All right.